And welcome from Berlin. Those stories coming up in the next half hour, but we begin with Vittorio Grigolo, who is being hyped as the next Enrico Caruso. Well, he's Italian and a classical tenor, but it is a silly comparison so early in his career. In June of this year, he received sensational reviews at his debut in Covent Garden. The same happened a few months later at the Metropolitan Opera in New York. He's also released a solo CD of Italian arias to great critical acclaim. We met up with him at his latest engagement in Valencia in Spain. Show must go on, always. Vittorio Grigolo's show always does go on. The tenor is now appearing in a performance of Manon Lescaut by Jules Massenet at the Valencia Opera House. The Mexican soprano Aileen Perez plays opposite Grigolo's Chevalier de Grieux, a role that secured him his breakthrough in London five months ago. Since then, he has become increasingly famous. I think fame is something that doesn't belong to you. Fame is something that people gives to you. And uh, one day you will die and fame maybe is not there anymore. Or you will, we will be not famous. So what are you going to do? You're going to be depressed. But if you have your talent and you know that your talent is always there, you're never going to be uh, missing something. You know what I mean? He has a powerful voice, is a tenor, and comes from Italy. That combination has led the media to repeatedly try and saddle him with the Latin lover cliché role. But the 33-year-old is happy to play the game. After all, it's not only his voice, but his acting talent that have made him so popular. Born in the Tuscan city of Arezzo, Vittorio Grigolo grew up in Rome. Even as a child, he listened to his parents' opera cassettes and sang the arias. It wasn't long before he became a choir soloist. At the age of 13, he made his operatic debut, singing alongside the celebrated tenor Luciano Pavarotti. It was a miracle because uh, such a great soul uh, could uh, only add something to me today and to a kid uh, when it was uh, 13 years old. So it was a great uh, chance to have uh, shared the stage with such a great hero of opera and uh, still uh, be today, uh, you know, thinking of those beautiful moments and bringing with me now that I am, I am the stage. I am the one who is on stage. So I'm bringing in my heart. In September, he released his third album, the first one to include Italian arias. Aptly, he called it the Italian tenor, but says it does not refer to him. I always say the Italian tenor is not, a, is not a, only a figure, it's not a man, it's not me, the Italian tenor. It's the way of singing, it's the sun in the voice, it's the, the fresh, the energy. I always say that there's a door open in front of a seaside. Enrico Caruso started the legend of Italian tenors more than 100 years ago. And Vittorio Grigolo has what it takes to keep that legend alive in the 21st century.
He's definitely going to be...